In Parashat Vayetze this week, we read about the famous dream of Yaakov and the letter. Yaakov dreams about a letter that's feet were firmly planted in the ground on earth and the top of the ladder was in the heavens. And he sees angels going up the ladder and then down the ladder. And of course, there's a famous question. Everybody knows that angels live in the heaven. And therefore, the right order is that the angels should be coming down the ladder and then going up. Why did the angels in Yaakov's dream go up the ladder and then down? Seems like the wrong order. Rabbi Haber brings a very interesting explanation from the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah explains that the ladder represents a connection between heavens and earth. Everything is connected. What we do here on earth affects what happens in the heavens. And what happens in the heavens affects and drives what happens here on earth. It's like the rain cycle. Water in this on the earth evaporates and goes up into the clouds. The clouds then burst and turns back into rain. And here we have rain which turns into water and goes back into the clouds again. It's the cycle of rain. This same cycle is very true also in the spiritual world, the world of our thoughts and the world of our actions. Everything we do is connected and the angels take up our deeds and our actions. They take them up the ladder. It goes into heavens and then impacts the entire world in which we live. What goes up comes down. But where does this cycle start? Well, this week's parasha tells us the angels go up the ladder and then down. The cycle starts with us. From here we see that everything we do, every act of kindness, every good deed, evaporates up into the, into the heavens and then impacts and affects the entire world. But if we do something bad, then it's like acid rain. It's like we send up polluted water into the clouds and comes down as poisonous acid, acid rain. It doesn't come down in our heads, it impacts somewhere else in the world. It could impact the entire world. Everything we do, we have to think to ourselves. Our actions don't only impact the person that we're doing them to, the words we say to somebody else. It can impact the entire world. Our thoughts and our actions can make a positive influence on the world and make the world a more happy, peaceful place. Wishing you all a very good Shabbos.